the life and sad ending of James Kahn. James Kahn was born James Edmund Kahn on March 26, 1940, in the Bronx, New York, U.S. His parents, Sophie and Arthur Kahn, were both German Jews. As one of their three children, he received his schooling in New York City and later went on to attend Michigan State University. He eventually transferred to Hofstra University. However, he didn't graduate from there. During his time at Hofstra, he developed a deep interest in acting and enrolled at New York City's Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater and studied there for five years. James Kahn started his career on the stage by appearing in off-Broadway plays including La Ronde, before making his Broadway debut in the play, Blood, Sweat and Stanley Poole. He then made his first television appearance in an episode of the series, Naked City. In 1963, he landed his first movie role in, Irma La Douce. The following year, he got featured in an episode of, Channing. That year, the actor appeared in the thriller film, Lady in a Cage, as well. He had a role in the flick, The Glory Guys in 1965. The same year, he played Mike Marsh in the movie, Red Line 7000. He next did the films, El Dorado, Countdown, Games, Submarine X-1, and Journey to Shiloh. Khan next portrayed a brain-damaged football player in the movie, The Rain People, 1969 for which he was highly praised. He then filmed for the flick, Gone with the West, that was not released until 1975. In the year 1970, he did, Rabbit, Run. The following year, he got featured in, T.R. Baskin. The actor was then cast in, Slither, 1973, a romantic comedy that also starred Peter Boyle and Sally Kellerman. He then played the title role in the flick, The Gambler, in 1974. The same year, Khan appeared in the action comedy film, Freebie and the Bean. He had a huge hit with, Funny Lady, in 1975, playing Billy Rose opposite Fanny Bryce. That year, he also starred in the action movies, Rollerball, and, The Killer Elite. After this, he had a cameo in, Silent Movie, and tried his hand at comedy in, Harry and Walter Go to New York. The actor then appeared in the war flick, A Bridge Too Far. In 1978, he acted in, Comes a Horseman, directed by Alan J. Pakula. The same year, he directed, Hide in Plain Sight. James Kahn collaborated with Mason for the screen adaptation of Neil Simon's, Chapter 2, in 1979. He next appeared in a neo-noir movie titled, Thief, in which he portrayed a professional safecracker. He had a role in the 1981 French movie, Le Lux Les Uns et Les Autres. In 1982, he did a comedy film titled, Kiss Me Goodbye, which flopped at the box office. After a gap of a few years, the American actor returned to acting with the movie, Gardens of Stone, in 1987. Khan played a cop in, Alien Nation, in 1988. Two years later, he appeared in Stephen King's, Misery. Khan had a minor role in, The Dark Backward, in 1991. The same year, he co-starred with Bette Midler in the flick, For the Boys. He did the films, Honeymoon in Vegas, The Program, Flesh and Bone, A Boy Called Hate, and, North Star, in the mid-1990s. In 1998, he played Philip Marlowe in the HBO movie, Poodle Springs, and also appeared in, This Is My Father. In the early 2000s, the actor appeared in numerous films and TV movies including, The Yards, Lucky Town, The Way of the Gun, Warden of Red Rock, A Glimpse of Hell, Viva Lost Nowhere, This Thing of Ours, Night at the Golden Eagle, Lathe of Heaven, City of Ghosts and, Blood Crime. In 2003, James Kahn began playing Big Ed Delini in the sitcom, Las Vegas. The same year, he did the movies, The Incredible Mrs. Ritchie, Jericho Mansions, 
Dogville, and Elf. Khan bagged a role in the TV movie, Wisegull, as well as in the sitcom, Get Smart, in 2008. A year later, he lent his voice to a character in the movie, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Meanwhile, he also appeared in the films, Middle Men, and Mercy. In the early 2010s, the American star did a number of small and big screen projects including Crime, Detachment, Small Apartments, That's My Boy, Blood Ties, For the Love of Money, Hawaii Five-0, Magic City, Back in the Game, and A Fighting Man. Four years after 2014, he was cast in the films Pregoland and The Outsider. The following year, he did the movies the Wrong Boyfriend, and Sicilian Vampire. He then had main roles in The Good Neighbor, 2016, The Red Maple Leaf, 2016, and Undercover Grandpa, 2017. In personal life, Khan has been married four times. In 1961, he married D.J. Mathis. The couple had a daughter named Tara before divorcing in 1966. He then married Sheila Marie Ryan in 1976. Their son, Scott Kahn, who was also an actor, was born in August 1976. However, the couple parted ways a year later. The American actor was married to Ingrid Hayek from 1990 to 1994. The couple has a son named Alexander James Kahn. He married Linda Stokes in October 1995. They have two sons, Jacob Nicholas Kahn and James Arthur Kahn. They divorced in 2009. In 1994, Kahn was arrested after being accused by a rap artist of pulling a gun on him. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of James Kahn. Like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.